Hi everybody, this is Boaz Faller and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 25th, 2016. Today we could feel a struggle between our ego and our emotional needs. We could be struggling with how we should implement those needs in the surrounding environment, in our daily lives, in the world itself. It is time that we contemplate what needs and craves are legitimate, what should be implemented, and what are not really needed, what are not really justified. And even the ones that are justified and that are needed for our continued development need to be stated and implemented in a way that doesn't harm others in our surroundings but paves the way for further advancement towards our goals the queen conks today between the moon in libra and the sun in pisces talks a lot about the moon in libra talks a lot about relationships about our need to get satisfaction in life about what's missing and the Queen Kongs to the Sun can really imp amplify everything we've been talking about. It's about leaving some things behind. It's about recognizing what is important and what isn't. At around 1700 hours Central European time, that's 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's a trine between the Moon to Venus and that could be a really wonderful time all through uh, the afternoon and the evening America and the evening and the nighttime Europe to really enjoy yourself and have fun with people you love. It's a great time to enjoy good food, good drinks, good company, and any sensual pleasure. So it's a wonderful night for these kinds of activities. We're going towards a few days in which the Sun in Pisces would conjunct Neptune, the ruler of Pisces. And this is a time that could bring a lot of fantasy and a lot of imagination. And it's a bit uh, like a double-edged sword. If we utilize that towards working uh, and forwarding our artistic endeavors, anything that needs creativity, we could harness that fantasy and that imagination into our life. But if we use it to run away and disattach from things that really need to be dealt with, that's a no-no. So work with that energy and don't let it rule you. Mercury is still sextiling Saturn in the sky. It's a time of acute thinking, of a sharp mind, of really knowing how to get ahead, what needs to be done and implemented. And it's very good for work and career situations and environments. Working with these two transits, Mercury, Saturn in sextile and the Sun conjunct Neptune is not something separate. We could utilize both of them. Look to the stars, but walk on Earth. So thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.